Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best Lenovo laptops. Starting at number 5. Lenovo Legion Pro 5 Gen 816. The best Lenovo gaming laptop we've tested is the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 Gen 815, 2023. This 16-inch model is available with AMD Ryzen 7000 CPUs and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series GPUs, up to a 4070 running at a whopping 140 WTGP, total graphics power, with dynamic boost. You can choose between a 165Hz or a 240Hz display, both have a QHD Plus resolution and support VRR to reduce screen tearing. Every CPU and GPU configuration can push high frame rates, but if you want to play all your games at 1440p, getting a model with an RTX 4060 or 4070 is best. RAM and storage max out at 32GB and 1TB, respectively, though both are user-upgradable. As for the build, it isn't the most premium-feeling laptop since it's a mid-range model, but it still feels sturdy and well-built with a mix of metal and plastic. Its bulky design makes it hard to carry around, and the battery lasts less than 5 hours of light use. It has a tactile keyboard, Wi-Fi 6E wireless connectivity, and a wide port selection, including an HDMI 2.1 and Ethernet. Neither the CPU nor the GPU throttles under load, but the fans get pretty loud. There are no biometrics for quick logins, unfortunately. Coming at number 4. Lenovo Chromebook C34015. If you want to spend as little as possible, get the Lenovo Chromebook C34015, 2020. This 15-inch 2-in-1 convertible has a sturdy build, a thin and light design, and all-day battery life. You can configure it with an Intel Core i3 or Pentium Gold CPU, both fast enough to provide a smooth experience on Chrome OS. You can only get a maximum of 4GB of memory, though, so you may experience occasional stutters if you run too many things simultaneously. The keyboard feels comfortable to type on for extended periods, and while the touchpad is on the smaller side, it's responsive to all movements and gestures. Its 1080p display looks decently sharp and provides enough room for multitasking, but it doesn't get very bright, meaning visibility may be an issue in well-lit settings. If you only use your device for media consumption, get the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5, 2021, instead. It's also a 2-in-1 Chromebook but in the form of a tablet with a kickstand and removable keyboard. This design allows you to detach the keyboard to save space or make the device easier to hold as a tablet, and you can pop it back on when you need to type something out. The keyboard feels cramped, so it's not the best for typing a long essay. The star feature that makes this device better for media consumption is its OLED screen. It produces rich, saturated colors and inky blacks and gets bright enough to combat glare in most indoor settings. The speakers sound tinny and unnatural, so you're better off using a pair of headphones. At Number 3 Lenovo IdeaPad 315 The best budget Lenovo laptop we've tested is the Lenovo IdeaPad 315, 2021, an ultra-portable Windows laptop with a sturdy build and all-day battery life. It's available with AMD Ryzen 5000 CPUs, which aren't the latest and greatest processors on the market, but they're still more than adequate for light productivity tasks. As for the display, you can choose between a 1080p TN or IPS panel. We recommend the IPS option, as it'll provide a better viewing experience with a better viewing angle and color reproduction. The keyboard feels spacious and tactile, although the keys require a fair amount of force to actuate, which can cause some fatigue over time. Port selection is decent, you get two USB-S, a full-size HDMI, and a USB-C port. The downside is that you can't use the USB-C to charge the laptop or connect an external display. Number 2 of my list Lenovo Yoga 7i16 If you prefer a cheaper, mid-range model, Check out the Lenovo Yoga 7i16, 2023. This 16-inch 2-in-1 convertible is available with Intel 13th Gen U and P-Series CPUs, which are plenty fast for general productivity tasks like text processing and spreadsheets. 
Its 16-inch display gives you ample room for split-screen multitasking and supports pen input. Depending on the region, you can get a bundle with a stylus, otherwise, you'll have to buy it separately. There are two display options, a FHD Plus and a QHD Plus panel. We recommend the latter, as it looks sharper and gets brighter to combat glare. The battery lasts around 12 hours of light use and charges quickly over USB-C, regarding ports, you get two USB-As, two USB-C slash Thunderbolt 4s, an HDMI, and a microSD card reader. There's Wi-Fi 6E wireless connectivity, and biometrics include a fingerprint sensor and a facial recognition camera. The keyboard gets a little warm under load, but thankfully, the fans remain quiet and thermal throttling is minimal. The webcam's video quality is decent, the image looks reasonably detailed but has an unnatural tint, and the microphone picks up some background noise. And number 1. Lenovo Slim Pro 714. The best Lenovo laptop we've tested is the Lenovo Slim Pro 714, 2023, a 14-inch mobile workstation. This compact model feels sturdily built and provides an excellent user experience with its sharp display, spacious keyboard, and large touchpad. You can configure it with an AMD Ryzen 57735 hs or Ryzen 77740HS CPU paired with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 discrete GPU. The Ryzen CPUs are fast, and while the RTX 3050 is a few years old, it can still handle heavy workloads like video editing and 3D graphics. The downside is that you can only get up to 16GB of soldered RAM. Storage maxes out at 1TB but is user-replaceable. Its wide port selection includes a USB-C with USB 4 support and a true HDMI 2.1 that can output a 4K 120Hz signal. Battery life is great at almost 10 hours of light use. If you need more processing power or RAM, check out a model like the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 4, 2021. Of course, this is an older model from 2021 with slower Intel 11th Gen CPUs, but there's a newer 2023 version. While we haven't tested the newer model, it looks largely the same as the 2021 model design-wise. It's available with Intel 13th Gen CPUs and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series GPUs, up to a 4090. It isn't as portable though, and it's significantly more expensive. You can see the ThinkPad P1 Gen 6 here. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.